Hey, renal artery stenosis with medicosis perfectionalis. Welcome to my channel. So renal artery stenosis is a stenosis or narrowing of the renal artery that feeds the kidney. Of course, the renal artery is a branch from the abdominal aorta. So what are the causes of renal artery stenosis? If you are talking about an old guy, it's atherosclerosis. A young lady in her 30s or 40s, it's fibromuscular dysplasia. Dysplasia, abnormal growth of cells in the arterial wall. The kidney senses hypotension. Why is that? Because there is less blood going into the kidney. Even if you have normal blood pressure, the kidney has less flow. So, it senses that as hypotension or low blood pressure. Start secreting what? Renin, then angiotensin, aldosterone in the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This will lead to what? Angiotensin will tense the angio, will constrict the blood vessel, leading to hypertension. Aldosterone will lead to what? Increased salt and water retention, leading to what? Of course, hypertension. So, these hormones secreted by the kidney eventually will lead to high blood pressure, where, which is the main problem of renal artery stenosis. That may be the only sign that you have. I have hypertension that is very difficult to control even with maximal medication. Risk factors of renal artery stenosis. You have an old male with atherosclerosis, young female with fibromuscular dysplasia, hypertension, let's say that you have a patient with hypertension and you don't know why and the patient doesn't know why so what do you do if you have hypertension and you have ruled out every other cause of secondary hypertension maybe it's time to look at for renal artery stenosis also any blood vessel disease such as you may have myocardial infarction or history of that you may have cerebrovascular accident or any problem with a blood vessel. Any kidney disease, because the kidney without blood pressure or tension is like a fish without water. Tobacco smoking, of course, is bad for your blood vessel and is bad for the renal artery as well. What's the most common symptom in renal artery stenosis? Asymptomatic which makes perfect sense because the most common symptom of hypertension is asymptomatic as well. Of course, I shouldn't have said the most common symptom is asymptomatic. It's kind of self-contradictory statement, but you got the idea. If the patient is not asymptomatic, the symptom will be hypertension hard to control. Hypertension can be a sign as well. It can be a symptom if the patient can notice that and say doctor i measure my blood pressure i think i have hypertension and of course when you measure the blood pressure of the patient in the clinic hypertension can be a sign as well the difference between symptom and sign is that symptom you the patient describe it sign i the doctor can see it or feel it or hear it or whatever Brewy is also a sign. Why is brewy? Here is the renal artery and here is the kidney. Remember when you used to water the plants in your backyard or in the garden? When you narrow the hose, okay, the velocity of the water increases. The water flow increases. So when you narrow your artery, what will happen to the velocity of the flow? Woo! It will increase. This woo sound is called brewy, which you can listen to by your stethoscope. And it's not sensitive, but it's highly specific, which means that many patients with renal artery stenosis will not have brewy. However, once you hear brewy, 
this is very specific of renal artery stenosis this patient i'm certain that they have renal artery stenosis you put the stethoscope here is like the midline of the patient okay and you put it either to the right or to the left depending on which um side sorry left or right depending on which side of the renal artery stenosis and this is unique like the stethoscope and this side um far from the midline um is there is nothing there except for the renal artery so it's renal artery stenosis how to diagnose renal artery stenosis we can do blood tests to um, measure the, the kidney function you can do kidney ultrasound also you can do doppler ultrasound or you can do uh, doplex um, to see the renal artery so you can ultrasound the kidney or ultrasound the artery or you can do invasive stuff such as angiography you have many options there you can do magnetic resonance angiography you can do ct angiography or angiography like whatever angiography no difference in the efficacy or in the um, specificity they are all the same how to manage this renal artery stenosis so if it's unilateral which means one renal artery the stenosis is less than 80 percent the hypertension is mild you can treat it medically as if you're treating just hypertension with medicine uh, drugs if unilateral more than 80 percent stenosis preferably in the mid portion of the renal artery you can do percutaneous transluminal ultrasound and you can use stent there are different indications when to use stent but this is beyond the scope of this video percutaneous transluminal renal and angioplasty is called petra if the patient failed angioplasty and maybe the stent was occluded before you should do aorto renal bypass so here is the aorta renal artery and the kidney and you have what renal artery stenosis okay bypass is you join the aorta directly to the renal artery bypassing this stenosis which is aorto renal bypass and now question of the day if a test is highly sensitive does it include i.e rule in or exclude i.e rule out the disease please let me know in the comments it's a pretty easy question Thank you very much. Please consider subscribing. Give the video a like if you liked it and comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.